before I begin, I'm going to share, just in case anybody was thinking about asking, and this way I just can, you know, save you the trouble. Um, my eyeshadow is the Cargo Shanghai Nights palette, and on my lips is the Aromi Beauty Liquid Lipstick in Desert Taupe. This is a great liquid lipstick. If you guys are interested in matte liquid lipsticks that are not drying but still stay really well and don't get like that weird like crumbly. They're really good. I really like this brand so that's what it is. I'll link them down below. Hello, welcome back. I'm Holly Golightly and this is Perfume Vegas. So happy to have you here. I'm glad that you've joined me today, and I can't wait to share some perfume with you. <clears throat> so today I'm sharing with you the fragrances that I picked up during the Alchemia, the Alchemia's, uh, during Alchemia's July sale. So every year in July, they have a sale. It's their clearing out the warehouse sale and they just are getting out um, extras, overstock, discontinued things that aren't listed on the website or Etsy shop regularly, as well as they have their Alchemia. Um, they also have their Arcanum experiments that go for sale and those are experimental blends that for some reason or another did not make it into a full production. So that's always fun. This year I didn't pick up any of the Arcanum experiments, probably because of the situation with um, the lockdowns and everything. Um, last year they just didn't have a huge selection and there wasn't anything that caught my eye. Luckily there was plenty of other things that caught my eye, so let's go ahead and jump right in into it. I picked up one EDP spray, um, an alcohol-based perfume. I do believe that Alchemia is, um, I don't know if they're actually, I can't say for sure if they're going forward with these or not. These were overstocks, um, so they were selling super fast, so I just grabbed one in a fragrance that I was pretty sure I would like. Um, they had a couple of fragrances that was that are on my like wish list for the brand, so um, I was really not having to take too big of a chance. But I picked up the um, Eau de Parfum in the the scent Gentleman Adventures Club. Gentleman Adventures Club, yeah. And this is elegant sandalwood, fine bourbon, and worn leather infused with memories of campfires, wild rock rose. Indian Zingiber, Zingiber, Indian Zingiber, Indian Zingiber, African Pelargonium, Mayan Sikar, and Balsam Fir from the Great North Woods. What is Zingiber? Let's look. Let's find out. Hold on. Oh, so Zingiber is just the scientific name for ginger could have probably figured that out. Anyway, um, this smells beautiful. I have, uh, it has a really distinct, rich, leathery, um, and woody scent to it. It's definitely something that you wouldn't smell just out and about. It's pretty unique. Um, it's not totally strange or weird, though. Actually, um, this fragrance, Gentleman Adventures Club, reminds me it doesn't smell the same but it is in the same sort of vibe as the um the limited or the um the special bottle from collage that i picked up and i showed in the last haul maybe one or two ago i'll put it on the screen or i'll put my um yeah i'll put it on the screen they don't smell alike this one is much more warm and spicy and the collage fragrance is kind of um, wet and woody but the leather note in both of these fragrances is very very similar and this type of leather note I'm not sure what it is 
about it or what type of leather it is but it doesn't have the same feeling as say like a Tom Ford ombre leather leather note um, which is very smooth kind of suede like this is a very um, almost animalic leather note there's something almost um, feral about it and so it's in the Gentleman's Adventure Club, which did leak a little bit in transport, and that's not a big deal that happens, so. But yeah, th that leather note is very similar, and I can pick it out of both fragrances. Um, and then the sandalwood here, the campfire note for sure comes through, um, ginger and the balsamic resonance that's really it's it's really beautiful you can still purchase the fragrance although i don't know if you can purchase it in the alcohol based edp you can buy it in oil or non-alcohol based fragrance sprays so i'll link that down below the next one is from their vintage or um the, it's like the vintage or discontinued section like that is their collection and it is called Los Solidaris. I have mentioned this fragrance in other Alchemia videos I've done. Um, I've talked about wanting it because I've wanted it for a really long time. Um, for a while it was exclusive to the Soapbox company. Um, if you don't know they're a distributor of indie product mostly bath and body products in the US. So this Los Solideras refers to the women who participated actively in the conflict of the Mexican Revolution. And this fragrance is inspired by those women and that strength. It is a blend of commandingly sexy musks blended with Queen Elizabeth root, a hoodoo charm for strength and luck, Feisty pink pepper, bay, and ginger with a splash of honky-tonk ale. A fleeting kiss of tonka and a dash of gunpowder. I got this as a sample years and years ago, and I loved it. Ugh. I've wanted it ever since. I love the gunpowder note. I love the Queen Elizabeth root. It's got a very um, earthy, dry, but yet spicy kind of richness to it um, and it's blended very well with the musk and the tonka bean um, it's a very bold type of fragrance but it doesn't it doesn't feel like um, you're wearing a scent like that's too much I think especially with um, feminine pheromones it works really well and it becomes just like one with your skin. Um, Alchemia does a lot with pheromone based fragrance and they have a lot of fragrances that work with your pheromones and this I think is one of them that really comes off as sexy and confident and I'm so happy to finally have it in my collection. So that was Los Solidaris from Alchemia. So then I purchased a grab bag. Um, they were offering trios of five mil bottles in a, um, a random grab bag, and you could choose from gourmand fragrances, fruit and floral fragrances, or um, a gender or leaning masculine. And the gourmand fragrances were sold out already, and I decided I didn't trust the fruit and florals because um, I don't really like fruity fruity scents. I don't, I think I mentioned that before. Uh, so I went with the agender and masculine leaning fragrances and I am so not sad. Uh, I got some really beautiful scents. So the first fragrance that I got, well, you know, I'm actually going to go in order of my favorites that I received in this trio from my first favorite to my least favorite. So my most favorite fragrance that I got in the, my favorite of the fragrances that I received in the grab bag is the fragrance called Vamp. Now this is discontinued. That's why these were being sold um, this way. They're all discontinued or um, archived fragrances. So Vamp is so gorgeous. 
This is tonka bean, lobdenum, opium, leather, black, black musk, and balsam. This fragrance does not have the same leather note as in Gentleman's Adventure Club. Um, the fragrance, uh, the leather note in Vamp is much more like the Tom Ford Ombre Leather, kind of traditional creamy leather note. Um, but it's so spicy. This is totally... Um, it's totally gender neutral, agender, um, but at the same time, on my skin, it smells very feminine at the, in the beginning. In the dry down, it becomes much more neutral, but in the beginning, it's quite feminine, I feel. Um, I really get the note of opium. I really get the leather... And I really get the fur at the top, but the opium is slightly sweet and slightly floral. Um, it's a very, it is a slightly feminine note in my opinion. Um, Lobdenum, which is in the base, and that with the tonka bean and the musk is much more like straight sexy. There's something familiar about this fragrance. It does smell like something I know that I just can't quite put my finger on what it is. If I remember, I will mention it in the comment, like in the description box down below for anyone who might want to sniff it, but of course can't get their hands on this one. But this is probably the one I will be wearing the most. Um, I think it's quite universal and it's very long lasting. Even for an oil, this one projects and lasts quite a, like for quite a good amount of time. So that is Vamp. Then the next one, my next favorite, <laughs> I really like them all. I'm not like these, I got really good. I got a really good selection. I'm very happy with these. Um, but the next one is called, where is it here? Um, Le Flamme. So I expected this to be quite spicy when I first looked at it. And then when I looked at the notes, I was surprised because this has notes of tea, incense, spice, wood, and oak moss. So it's not at all flammable <laughs> smelling. <laughs> That's probably not right. Um, It's very spicy and incensey, but that tea note is quite prominent. And I typically don't like tea fragrances, but this tea smells like a very fine, like fine tea leaf, like um, almost like a very nicely blended herbal tea um, with some, maybe some like licorice root or chamomile. What it says about the fragrance is that it's a modern take on an old hoodoo recipe for drawing the heart's desires. Originally created for women to use to attract men, our recipe is updated to be suitable for all genders. Rare spices steeped in root tea, incense woods, and oak moss. Yeah. It's got a slightly, it's got a slightly greenness to it. Slight greenness. It's got a slight herbalness, but it's earthy, warm, incensey, and then there is the oak moss hanging there in the very, very deep dry down to give it a little bit of tactile, like, freshness? Not freshness. Um, how would I describe it? Cleanliness. So it doesn't smell like overbearing. It does, again, all of these are supposed to be masculine leaning or a gender fragrances, but they all smell to me very, very gender neutral, very a gender. Um, I wouldn't call any of them masculine leaning in my opinion, but um, that's just on my skin. So uh, I find La Flamme to be the next most wearable of the three. Um, and it's probably, of all of them, the most unique of the scents. And then the last one, the last one that I got in the trio was Chimera from Alkinia. 
This is another ambery fragrance. This one also has lobdenum in it, but it also has fruity notes. This one has pineapple, mahogany, melon, lobdenum, ambrette, or the musk mallow seed, and amber. So this one is quite like its namesake. It does sort of change and develop in unique ways. Um, a, not a lot of people, but on Fragrantica where this fragrance is listed, I did see a lot of people comparing it s in a similar vein to Adventus, which I feel like that is a vastly, a vastly deceptive comparison because other than having a pineapple note, there's no similarities whatsoever. I actually like Chimera on this wearing on this testing a little bit more than I did on the first test and I think that was because my allergies were acting up so I might not have gotten some of the nuances. This is now I would say actually I would take back and I would put Chimera in the place of the most wearable but it's a little bit less unique than the other two. It smells amazing it smells beautiful and I think it would look like just be a gorgeous fragrance to layer with. So again, definitely something I'm happy to have in my collection. It's something I'm happy to be wearing. Um, so that is the fragrance Chimera. Now these three scents are discontinued, um, but I am sharing one with you in hopes that if you're interested in them, you can go on to Alchemy's website, which I'll link below, and look and see if there's anything that catches your fancy that might be in a similar vein. So um then the last, the last fragrance that I got with my purchases, this is actually a free gift with the purchase. This is their July Ocean Alchemy. Um, every month, Alchemia does a free gift with purchase over $50. Um, that's a limited edition scent. And this month was the Ocean Alchemy. So this particular fragrance is a relaxation of gentle oceanic breezes, clean sun bleached cotton, dry seaweed, wet sand, flowering freesia, and a touch of kaizuka juniper. I was a little nervous, a little hesitant when I saw the sun bleached cotton and the ocean breezes because like I mentioned in my what I wore last week video, I have Alchemia's uh, Sandscape and it's a little bit too clean for me. I'm not going to put this on me, but when I did wear it, it's much, much more um, juniper heavy, seaweed heavy. It has much more of an oceanic woody flavor than than Sandscape, which is more like a clean breeze scent. Um, this is definitely one that will be great to layer with something like um, Christian Dior Eden Rock to give it just a little bit more depth and dimension. I love layering perfume oils underneath of perfume alcohol because it does act as a bit of a fixative, helps things last longer, and also can zhuzh the scent. And then with my orders, I got some samples. These samples should all be, um, should all be current fragrances that are available. Um, so instead of sniffing them, because this video has been a little bit long, um, I'm going to just tell you the, tell you the fragrances and tell you the notes. And then if you want me to do a video where I test these for you guys, or I, I give my first impressions on them because I haven't smelled any of these, um, I would be happy to do that. But let me go ahead and tell you. So the first scent is called Age of Aquarius. And it is wild mountain mint, coriander, verbena, and mellow blue lavender to bring a, fa a f to bring a far out vibe to groovy green patchouli. I can't talk. Holy crap! And then the next one is called Hippie Spirit. That these two are together, so I wonder if that was on purpose. I'm sure it was on purpose. So Hippie Spirit is a bohemian love fest of head shop incense, sexy skin musk, slightly dirty patchouli, champa blossom, and flowering cannabis The wander from the Wanderer's Journal Collection. Um, 
So that sounds great. <laughs> I definitely can't wait to try. Then in this section, I have the fragrance Forest Patchouli. I love patchouli, so I'm happy to have these. Um, it's an untamed wilderness of Siberian pine balsam fir mistletoe and blended with the rustic earthiness of iron distilled patchouli and fire cured spices. That sounds amazing. Sounds bomb. Okay, and then the next one is the Academy of Pleasure, which I believe is under the T list. T, T, spell it with your P. So Academy of Pleasure is red and golden ambers infused with a bottle of fine cognac liqueur, a suede waistcoat, hurley abandoned on an antique chair, and a haphazard tank of bergamot scented linen sheets, cardamom hashish coffee, and a cedar lined cigar humidor. And then the last one is called the Highwayman. So let's See if it's under G or H, T or H. Highwayman is a sweat-stained black leather night air, a dirt road under galloping hooves, tobacco, blood-stained lace, and gunpowder fragrance. So these samples sound amazing. Um, the Academy of Pleasure and the Highwayman were both already in my wish list of fragrances, so I'm super excited about that. Um, and then the other ones all sound great. So I'd be happy to do a sampling samples of those if you're interested I might do it anyway because I just do whatever I want but you can chime in down below I really hope you guys will check out Alchemia fragrances they're going to be linked down below they do still have some products available in the uh, they do still have some products available in the July sale at the time of this filming but I can't guarantee that they will be there when you see it so just go check out the site. They're very reasonably priced and you can get sets of three or you can get sample sets as well. So there's a lot of great options to try the fragrances. I hope that you enjoyed this video, this little collection that I purchased recently. I do have some other items that I've picked up that I want to share with you guys, but I have to just hold on to them for a little while because I'm going to try to make it a collective type of thing. Um, otherwise I will be seeing you guys in my next video as long as you remember to give this a thumbs up. No, that, that sounded like I was holding it hostage. If you turn on notifications so you can find out when I'll be uploading, it's every Monday and Friday. I'll see you in the next video. Give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe before you go and I will see you on the next one. Bye.